you're on COD and you're having a blast, so you go on Discord to contact one of your buddies, one of your friends, so you open up the chat overlay. When you open up chat overlay and you start typing, all of a sudden, you end up blocking your friends or you affected your gameplay in some way. How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Muso here, and I want to talk to you about exactly just that. Now, when you're using Discord overlay, you may have noticed this type of bug to where you're typing on your keyboard on the overlay and it seems like it's bringing you in and out the menus, it's changing up your settings in some way while you're in your game, whether it's Call of Duty Warzone. But right before I get to that, if you find this video very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content and PC tech stuff, make sure you go down and join the wonderful fan bam right here down below. But let's get straight to the point. If you're not familiar with Discord overlay or if you're not familiar with Discord period, Discord is a way for you to be able to contact gamers across different platforms, whether they're on Xbox, PlayStation, but you will typically use a laptop or a phone to contact and communicate to that very person. Now they came out with another feature to where you're able to chat while you're in game, kind of like what Steam has when you're gaming on PC, or most PC gamers will usually have a large contact list and different kinds of servers that they like to go into. Of course, the very first way you can resolve this problem is you get a secondary monitor, you put it on the side and you just sit it up horizontally. Of course, there you go, problem solved. I'm just kidding, it's not that. But to really resolve this overlay issue is when it's typically when you hit shift and the plus key, I believe, but mine's is kind of altered. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did on my keyboard setup to where I actually have it on one of my G keys on my Corsair uh, K100 keyboard to where my discord overlay will pop up. But I did notice that very problem while I'm typing while I'm trying to send a message out to one of my friends, then all of the sudden, it seems to have done something wrong. I ended up blocking friends. I ended up exiting games, all because I sent out a message. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can prevent that and how that can be fixed. So without further ado, let's get straight into it because I know you wanna see how to fix it. In order to get to your overlay settings, all you have to do is click this settings or the cog icon. And if you highlight it, it'll say user settings. When you go into user settings, you will go into overlay. Now, if you go into overlay, this is how you can actually change up your settings. For me, I have a right alternate button plus the minus button on my keyboard. So if I hit those keys together, it will cause the overlay to pop up. Now on my keyboard, I do have IQ and K100. So to program that, I just go into my IQ here. I'll go into K100 on my IQ. And to add these actions, I just go into actions and I add the macro key here. And as you can see, you just simply record the settings here of the type of action that you do. Now, of course, the way I did it, to make it easier, I did it vice versa. I did the right alternate key and the minus button here inside of my K100 uh, settings for my macros. And as soon as it was programmed into my macro key, which is my G1 key, I just edit it with, I edit the key bind right here and then I simply just pressed G1. And when I hit G1, it automatically put that setting into the toggle overlay. For me, I personally hit this G1 key as I have it set up right here and my Discord overlay will pop up. Now, you can have, customize your overlay settings here if it matters to you, if you want your avatar size large, your display names pop up. You could even set the position of your overlay notifications. Personally, I do like it on the top left corner. That's how I've always liked it. And I do like my text chat notifications. Now, this does not resolve the issue when you're using overlay uh, issue with the key presses. You're not actually gonna do it into Discord itself. Because at first I kind of looked through everything and I saw that there was nothing else that you can really do in order to fix this bug. 
And then I kind of realized something here. Wait till you see this. Okay, so I'm inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And now I'm going to bring up the Discord overlay. If you're unfamiliar with what the Discord overlay looks like, it'll look something like this. Now, as soon as that pops up, and if I'll just go into one of my channels here, and let me go to... And now, if I'm typing and everything, it won't do anything, which is good. And as you notice, nothing's happening in the menu, which is a good thing. Now, in order to prevent anything from popping up at all, you go to your settings here, and you go to your keyboard and mouse. Make sure you're under keybinds. When you go to keybinds, you wanna scroll down, and you're gonna look for something that says, let's see, right here, you're gonna see menu navigation. Now, as you can see, I have my menu navigation. You want to unbind everything. All you have to do is right click it and it, you will have the option to unbind it. It will look more like this because I already have everything unselected. Now, you wanna make sure you unbind everything that's here. Otherwise, you're gonna run into the very issues of being able to control with your keyboard and more than likely, you're probably not gonna want to. I don't even really want to put these arrows in if I find it to be problematic later. But, but now I can actually bring up my menu and now I can type without issue. As you can see, before when you would type, it would usually give you that problem to where you would be jumping menus because most because on the default settings, I'll show you exactly how the default settings, your your settings would look more like this as you can see as i reset everything and now anytime you hit these keys you're going to be navigating on the menu and not even realizing it when you are using your discord overlay but as you can see all you have to do is right click it and click unbind 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 and you just want to unbind everything also another tip i would have is when you want to exit your Discord overlay, you don't want to hit the escape key because again, and that will also bring up something else on your menu, in your game, or anywhere else that you have this issue with. You want to hit the same keys you use to bring up your Discord overlay. Uh, for me, I would hit my G1 key and that is good enough. But as you see, when I hit escape, it asks me to exit to the desktop. You can also unbind the escape key if you want because the shortcut to escape anything in Windows is Alt, Alt F4. If you hit Alt F4, that will escape any game. I hope you guys found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my social following right here. It's not only on Twitter, but I'm also on TikTok and IG. I hope this answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, make sure you put it down in the comments down below. Fam Bam, guys, how do you like Discord? Let me know in the comments down below if that's your preferred, if that's your preferred chat source. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.